All right. Um, hello, everybody. Uh, my name's Andrew. Uh, and thank you for letting me speak here. Um, how does this work? Oops. No, no. <laughs> oh, oh, okay. All right. There we go. Okay. All right. Uh, so, to begin, I come from a family of engineers. My mother, my father, my brother, my sister, two uncles, a grandfather, they're all current or former engineers. I've always wanted to be a writer. I still want to be a writer. So when it came time for me to choose my own major in university, I chose English. Um, now, there's a joke back in the United States where I'm from. Why would you choose a major in a language that the whole country already speaks? Well, as I said before, I'm, um, I've always been drawn to creative writing, and at the time, I felt like it was just the most natural um, major for me to go through, and I trusted everything would be okay. Um, now, that hasn't stopped me from feeling like like a black sheep, kind of. Um, and I'm sure that any of you out there who plan to, st to go to university and study a social science subject, you might feel the same way. Um, I'm here to give you some reassurance today. Okay, so maybe some of you have some big questions about the social sciences otherwise known as the liberal arts, otherwise known as the humanities. Um, for example, maybe you wonder, is it hard to live off of a career in the social sciences? Hmm. Maybe some of you have the question, do people who pursue social sciences actually have a fulfilling career? Well, today I hope that I can answer all these questions for you in what I am about to say. So let's go over what exactly is going on with the social sciences nowadays. And it does not look good. Um, I haven't researched the figures in Vietnam, but I know that in America, less and less people are choosing to study uh, majors relating to social science. Why? Because, well, as our world becomes more and more industrialized, students are smart, they're taking notice, and they've formed it in their head that, you sh that we should study more natural science degrees. Uh, and by natural sciences, we're thinking more like, well, like science, biology, engineering, otherwise known as STEM. Uh, yeah, science, technology, engineering, and math. Math, that's it, yes. Um, so, yes, um, it's... Uh, it's a little bit of a sad story for social sciences, especially for me who study them, or, you know, majored in a social science. Um, but, yes, here we go, STEM, all right. Um, but this has led to a number of prejudices against the social sciences. These preformed beliefs, um, Let's see, um, one of them being, you might believe that the, the social sciences are a recent phenomenon. Uh, they're just kind of new. I mean, why would we study these woo, topics in the past? Um, I want to say that you're wrong. Uh, even going way back into Greeks, ancient Greek civilization, even they realized that including social sciences in a study curriculum was key to making, key to a more well-rounded education and crucial for making, making citizens, you know, able to be active in uh, civic life uh, and to be a big contributor to society. Um, now, some of you may also be thinking, oh, the social sciences, they can't give me any individual value. They just, they just won't help me in any way as a person. 
and I'm going to agree with you. No, I'm not going to agree with you. No, no, they will give you value, yes. Um, so I would say that social sciences, they help, uh, they help with our emotional quotient, um, which help, uh, they really help us with understanding the world around us. Um, take, f like for example, literature, um, you know, well, I'm not going to get into specifics, but literature, history, uh, sociology, these are all lenses that we look through to help us really understand what's going on and um, uh, really ways to really comprehend, you know, this big confusing world of ours. It helps us put things into order. Uh, now, some of you, maybe some of you have it in your heads that uh, the social sciences, they're only just purely theoretical. Uh, they have no practical aspect to human nature. Um, I'm going to, again, disagree with that notion. Um, I want to say that the social sciences actually help with our intellectual fulfillment. Uh, you know, nowadays, all of our physiolog physiological needs, they're pretty much met. We've already got down agriculture, uh, you know, civic government. So what do we do in our free time? Well, we, we watch movies. We read books. We practice drawing or painting. We do all this to expand our intelligence, really our intellectual scope. Uh, so they're not worthless. They're not worthless. Uh, finally, there's this other prejudice going around, this belief that the social sciences, they have no help. They, have, they do nothing for society. They're just, they're just worthless, worthless subjects that why, how does this help us? Um, and again, for the last time, I'm going to say, you're wrong, you're wrong. Um, I mean, we, with the, Indrid, of course, with the Industrial Revolution slowly, slowly going on and on and making life more industrialized, yes, um, many, edu many educational institutions have shifted their focus from a more well-rounded education to a more career-focused education um, with the sole aim of making students future um, productive, efficient workers in the, uh, in the machine of society. Um, but um, social sciences, they uh, they're more than that. Um, they help us, they remind us of why we're human. Mm -hmm. um, you know, we're, we're, we have, I think you would all agree, all of you would agree that no, we are not just, um, we're, not just as, we're not just parts of the big machine. Uh, we are human and uh, the social sciences kind of reminds us of our human values and uh, what it means to be a human being. Okay, uh, let me turn the page to a whole other set of prejudices, okay? Um, and this has to do with the belief that social science degrees, they earn less, or the people who have them have less stable lives. Um, the first, first one I want to address is this question. Maybe I'm sure some of you are asking by this point. Uh, are the social sciences just used for creative jobs? That's a common belief, uh, but in fact, you know, all sorts of jobs have, yeah, any, all sorts of jobs have, um, have they, they require qualities that we would, some, we would call left brain and right brain. Um, you know, just, just take for example, a, uh, someone with a, an arts degree, okay? Uh, you might think, well, what use, what use, what can you do with an art, art degree? You could become a museum curator, okay, curator of an art museum, yeah. 
but even if you become a curator of such an art museum, uh, that position still requires skills such as business administration or uh, accounting, uh, skills that we would more associate with, um, I believe, the, the left brain. Yes, the more logical, more scientific or business-related skills. Um, Okay, yes, um, okay. Uh, let me go on to a next question that might be rattling around in your minds. Um, are the social sciences just used for creative jobs? Um, I think we, actually, no. Are they just for use for creative jobs? Um, no, no, I think that's the point we just went over. Um, um, no, no, they're not. Um, as, I, as I mentioned with the example of the museum curator, no. Um, I want to also add that the same is true with, more, with jobs that we more associated with uh, uh, natural sciences, more like STEM, like scientific uh, subjects. Um, for example, um, you know, computer programming. Um, even those could, ha could require um, skills uh, that we would more associate with the, the social arts, more creative and uh, um, right-brained um, attributes. Mm. So what am I saying with all this? So, I, so with all I've said, I want to say <laughs> that the social sciences they are viable in today's world. Uh, I want you, if you are thinking of going into a field related to the social sciences, I'm just here to tell you, don't be afraid. I, I came out okay, yeah. Um, I'm doing fine. Um, I'm, I'm making enough money to live and I am making enough money to enjoy life. Um, and I'm sure that all of you will too. There are enough, um, there are enough opportunities out there uh, for all sorts of, uh, you know, whether you decide to focus your studies on the natural sciences or more toward the social sciences. Um, opportunities abound. Uh, it, uh, it, doesn't, it doesn't matter. Uh, don't just, yeah, just follow your heart. Um, I also want to add, and I've probably kind of made this point already, but you know, despite the, the bias toward uh, natural science subjects and STEM subjects, it's not that they're better, or it's not that they're better paying, uh, it's not that they have more value to society uh, as opposed to uh, social science subjects. Um, it's, it's a, uh, <laughs> thank you, yes. Um, it's not true, it's not true. Um, every, every, uh, every job, every skill, every, whether it's social science or natural science, they all have um, an important part to play in society. Um, that's something I firmly believe and I'm hoping that's something that all of you firmly believe as well. Okay, so the big takeaway from my whole spiel, my whole speech. Um, there, are, there are plenty of options and opportunities. Go ahead, go to university, study that arts degree, study that literature degree, study that philosophy degree. You will find a way, yeah. You will, uh, you will be okay. Um, you, might, you, know, you might have to search around a bit after you graduate, but you will, you will end up where you need to be, uh, and you will find happiness, and you will find fulfillment. Um, I want to guarantee that. I, as I said, I did. Um, okay. Uh, is there anything I want to leave you guys with? Um, it seemed like there was something to say, um, but... No, um, I guess, yes, okay. The last thing I do want to say is don't, um, don't let these, these 
overrated prejudices, prejudices, prejudices. Uh, don't let them chain you down. Uh, don't let them stop you from studying whatever the hell you want to study. Uh, just, just be free. Go out there. Fly. Thank you. <laughs>